Man, today is a special day. It, it truly is. So what's up, guys? I've got another exclusive for you all today. This is some early Watch Dogs Legion gameplay. So uh, you guys know today is pretty much Ubisoft day. We had the Ubisoft forward event not too long ago. I'm sure you guys saw it, but if you didn't, I uploaded some early Assassin's Creed Valhalla gameplay to the channel. So if you guys happen to miss that, it'll be the top link down in the description. Make sure you guys go check it out. And now I get to share some early Watch Dogs gameplay with you guys. Watch Dogs Legion, the newest iteration in the series. And uh, man, this game really changes things up. It, it is absolutely insane how big this world is and how interconnected this world is, how everything works together and how it's pretty much your entire playground. One of the, the biggest features of this game is that pretty much every NPC, every character you see walking around in the streets of London, you can recruit those people to your team and they all have different personas. They show up in the cutscenes, they have different abilities and gadgets and stuff like that. And they all have a different feature set that's gonna help you advance through the game. So you guys are gonna see some of that today. We're gonna be using some disguise. We're gonna be sneaking around. We're gonna be hacking, watchdog style. You guys know the deal. We played them all here on the channel. So uh, I'm, I'm really excited about it. This is a fantastic game, at least for the couple of hours that I played so far. So huge thank you to Ubisoft for inviting me to capture this gameplay early from the comfort of my own home and allowing me to share with you guys. Hope you guys enjoy it here. I'm limited to 20 minutes. That's why it's kind of a short video, but I hope you guys understand. And uh, let's get into it. Oh shoot, I almost forgot to give you guys some context as to what's happening. So the very first part of the demo that I played, which you guys are seeing on screen right now, is the actual prologue of the game. So it's the first thing you're gonna see when you boot the game up, when it fully comes out, and uh, it kind of sets up the story. So I, I don't want to get too far into it. I don't want to want to you know give you guys any spoilers, and I can't even show you guys any cutscenes from this segment. But basically, DeadSec has been framed for a pretty serious attack, and ultimately you're trying to figure out who did the attack, who framed us, why did they frame us, that sort of thing, and, and trying to set things right and clear your name. So that was that was the first thing I played, but then it jumped to kind of like more of a middle section of the game. All right, guys, so welcome uh, to the world of Watch Dogs Legion. Today, we are gonna be taking on our first mission in this demo, so let's go ahead and start it up, see what we're working with. The Whistleblower, DeadSec received an SOS signal. It seems to be coming from a server at a Staroger Coffee. This is strange. One of our servers is being pinged constantly from the Wi-Fi of a particular Star Roger coffee. Okay, so? Yes, I thought it was noise at first too, but then I decoded the pings. It's Morse code. Three letters repeating over and over. Go on. S, O, wait for it, S. Somebody's asking Let's for help. Let's see what's up. Send me those coordinates. All right. You know your boy's gonna be riding in style on the Vespa. Here we go. Let's ride out. It's pretty sick because you can um, you can completely customize who you're playing as. So if we go into our team, pretty much every person in the world you can actually recruit to your team, and they all have different abilities. So like we've got a construction worker here, we've got a hacker, got a spy. We've got a street artist. Now, not only does everyone have different weapons and abilities and stuff like that, but like, for example, if you're going to a construction site in a mission, if you're walking in as a hacker, obviously you're gonna get, get exposed quickly. People are gonna know you're not supposed to be there. If you've got a construction outfit on, you're gonna be able to sneak in. I'm thinking we're, we're gonna go, we're gonna go with Zeta Kavalowskis, Kav Kavalowskis here. I'm gonna swap to this operative. She's uh, she's a spy. She's got a, a silenced weapon, silenced pistol. So we're gonna try to. Time, but we need your particular skill set for something. Ready to go. So it looks like this is our Staroger coffee. There doesn't seem to be any obvious peril, does there? Have a seat, and I'll ping back the IP, sending us the distress signal. Sounds good. Just gotta wait it out. Have myself a nice chai latte with llama milk. Uh, ma'am? Okay, is there a reason we are using an old shit phone? It's a crypto phone. It's secure. Every device on CTOS can be compromised. If we're overheard, we're dead. Both of us. Who are you? Not important. 
What matters is that I have inside information on SIRS, and I believe the people who framed you are rogue officers. Loath as I am to say it, dead sec may be my only hope to stop them. Hmm. I'm listening only. No promises. Good. I hit coordinates to a meeting place on a device in that establishment. <laughs> and then the phone just self-destructs. So we're gonna have to hack something in this establishment? I'm not sure about this. Bagley, Sabine, opinions? All right, that's a wrinkle. So this SARS bloke says Zero Day are a bunch of Secret Service dickheads. I mean. Doesn't surprise me. The bombings were too sophisticated for randos, but SARS could pull it off. Officially, SIRS, or the Signals Intelligence Response Service, did surveillance data drawn from CTOS to identify large-scale terrorist and criminal threats. Then they sent Albion to shoot the threats in the face, for example. And in the wake of escalating violence in London, the SIRS is extending the right to use lethal force to law enforcement and Albion securities. Unofficially, SIRS uses your data to read your mind and arrest you for having naughty thoughts. So we have means and opportunity, which leaves motive. SARS are fascist pricks, but they're supposed to stop groups like Zero Day from doing terrorist shite. Why cause one? When you meet this guy, ask. Huh. Would it really be a T-Martin video without crashing into something? Situation. I don't think it would. Contact is not here, and there are signs of a struggle. SIRS may be onto him. If you get access to the area's surveillance infrastructure, I can rebuild the scene in AR. Okay, I will do it. Gonna have to have to hack this though. Looks like that goes up top and across. I, I got it. It was over here. This is the generator. This is the bypass we had to get. We had to rotate a couple of those. This blue line is the good line. And now we're gonna go ahead and unlock this. Now if we come over here, we've got our blue line going down through here. And it looks like we need to unlock this as well. Let's unblock this, and that's going to open up our uh, open up our door to be able to get to our security panel to be able to recreate whatever happened in here. That's done it. Now return to the scene, and I'll reconstruct what happened to our contact. All right. Let's go back over here and have an AR reconstruction. Through the work of technology, we're going to be able to see what happened in the past. That appears to be our contact. It certainly doesn't look like his best day, does it? Analyze the clues in the AR workspace to find out what happened to him. Okay, so we can analyze these clues here. This is a non-lethal weapon, so odds are he's still alive, though he may not want to be. That's good. So it looks like they shot him, went and got him up. Threw him in the back of the truck and they're probably going to take him away. They've taken our SIRS contact away, but they may still be nearby. I can reconstruct the vehicle's path from unsecured CCTV recordings. That should allow you to follow it. So now we're going to follow the AR vehicle. Let's go ahead and hop in our vehicle and, and see, see what we can find. I like this. So it looks like each of these. Wow, dude, this is so sick. Obviously, there's going to be gaps where the security cameras can't see him, so we're going to have to kind of put those together. But we know that he's heading this way. Made his way through here. All the way up to this next stoplight. Went left. Ooh, went right. Got a little bit a little bit tricky on us there, but we're going to the keep on going. The nearly finished, and so is our contact if you don't hurry. Looks like they looks went like down. Looks like contact assailant stopped here, but I can't see them nearby. Let's analyze the data to see if we can find out where they went. And into the garage. CTOS AR. Data reconstruction in progress. So they took our guy out. Our contact's assailants are switching vehicles to elude pursuers, which is standard operating procedure for private military perks like Albion. Wow. Albion? Not sirs? What can I tell you? They're mercenaries. If you keep looking, you might find out why they're interested in an SIRS whistleblower. So they're in a, like a delivery van now, like a box van. I've completed a thorough analysis of the vehicle and concluded it is a van. <laughs> All right, Begley, what else? 
Well, I could also mention that the minute traces of sand in the tire tracks indicate that it's been on a construction site recently. But you know me, hate to sound like a smart ass. I've been scanning nearby construction yards for Albion activity and, long story short, some dozy gear has forgotten to turn off the security camera in the makeshift torture room. Let's see it. Well, at least we got our man. That's not me. I swear to God, please, please. This man looks soft. He will break soon. Bagley, send me a location. We have to move quickly. All right, so I'm thinking this is where we're going to come in, where we'd want to use the construction workers. So we're going to swap over to uh, Rosemary Monroe here. We should be able to walk in. Now, obviously, it's not going to be the perfect disguise. Are you ready for a new operation? Oh, yeah. I'm all tuned up. Obviously, we're not, not going to be able to be up in people's faces and be close to them and stuff like that. But I would imagine... As a temp disguise, we're probably good to just walk in here. Keep a low profile by avoiding enemies and suspicious behavior. So our objective is going to be downstairs. Might want to start heading down there. And I don't know. It could be a good idea. We could take down all the, the overwatchers up top. Like all the, all the guys walking around looking for trouble. Should we take this guy down? So like, is anybody going to see us? So if you look at them afterwards, you can shroud these bodies and hide them so that people won't walk by and notice them. So it looks like the key that I need is going to be inside this room. There's our hostage. We download this key. Go ahead and download it. There we go, baby. We can open this door. We're going to be able to get our... Uh, our person of interest. You're saved! Ooh. He's in rough Easy. shape. Calm down. I'm dead sick. You rang us. Of course. You shouldn't have come here. I don't know for sure I've betrayed them. We just saved your ass. No, you've just damned us both. Look, I'll upload the intelligence onto an anonymous FTP. It'll explain everything. Actually, I'd like you to explain everything. My name is Richard Malik. I'm an intelligence analyst. I believe Zero Day are rogue SIRS officers who framed you for the bombings to seize power. Now they're murdering or blackmailing anyone who threatens them, which now somehow includes me. Right. We'll see what Bagley makes of the intel. But don't make me regret this. So Zero Day is... Is the, the group or the person, assuming it's a group, that framed us for Malik all these bombs? made his way out, and now I suggest you do the same. All right, so one thing that's that's really cool about the construction worker that I, I definitely want to check out here is I believe we have a flying drone, cargo drone. Summon a personal rideable cargo drone. All right, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and, and bring this guy down. You coming down, sir? We can hop up on top of it, hijack it again, and we can fly on out of here. Are you kidding me, dude? <laughs> See, this this is one of the things that like every Let every character has their own see. special abilities. Why not check the intel anyway? All right, one second. Okay, Bagley, check his intel, then organize a briefing. Attendance mandatory. I'm here. Are you ready to begin? Here's the gist. Malik's intelligence checks out. A rogue faction of SRS officers framed DedSec for the bombings to consolidate power over the government. But now they've noticed that some people are standing up to the new order, and they're blaming you. I believe these are the people you call Zero Day. I don't know their names, but it's safe to assume they have a ringleader. And in my experience overseas, removing the leader... Yeah, take out the leader, take out Zero Day. But why are you talking to us now? Two weeks ago, a shell company connected with Zero Day's operations imported 40 kilos of Semtex from an old Soviet block depot. But it never left London. 
which means Zero Day is planning a bombing that will make those earlier bombings look like a bonfire. Whew. And I think I know why. As we're all now painfully aware, false flag attacks are a common propaganda tool for despots. Kill a load of people and the rest fall into line behind whoever says they won't let it happen again. In this case, Zero Day. Mm. Which means we both want to discover who's pulling Zero Day strings and stop them. So they want we power at any of cost. Personnel dossiers of anyone connected with the earlier bombings and their cover up. Then Malik and I can analyze their common connections and work out who's in charge of Zero Day. And I'll be on the comm to observe. Through the streets of London right now, I love it. You actually have auto drive available. Like I can I can turn auto drive on. Look at this. It's gonna drive us around just like a Tesla when it's listening to the all the traffic signs and stuff like that. That's funny. Alright. Let's uh let's retake control here. So we need to get up to the top of this building. I'm here. You're stealing Sir's personnel dossiers. The organization is strictly compartmentalized, so they aren't stored in one central location. Spying on spies? I approve. What's the plan? SIRS uses a supercomputer called Filament to process information drawn from the CTOS network. It's like Noodle, if you could use it to search every document on every civilian, government, or commercial device everywhere in the United Kingdom. Instantly. Sounds oh, pretty shit. powerful. You can be horrified if you want, but it saved thousands of lives. Get access to a filament terminal and I'll provide you with the search terms. So this was another one of those missions where like, there's not one way to do it. Depending on who's in your crew, what kind of disguises and abilities you have, it's gonna affect how you could approach and tackle this problem. And uh, I just went with the construction worker on the cargo drone. We had literally just done it in the last mission, so it was fresh in my mind. But there were some other ways. You could have hacked your way in through the main lobby and kind of taken the main steps. You could have completely just shot your way through up to the rooftop. You could have used some like parkour and climbed some pipes and ladders on the side of the building. Like, it's pretty cool how you have different methods to approach the same problem. Pulling our root kit. It's so sick how we could use a cargo drone to fly up here to stay stealthy, destroy their, like, police drone, and then take them all out without causing a ruckus. I'm sure there were other ways we probably could have ran straight up in the building and shot them all, but I like being a, a little bit more stealthy. So let's call this spider bot here. Okay, hijack him. Now we're gonna be able to walk around. No way, dude. <laughs> okay. So this is filament, impressive. I can help you break in, but we're going to leave a trail, unless of course Malik has an idea. There, I persuaded filament security to log that spider bot's activity as system maintenance. You know, you're a bit too helpful for a sir's bloke. It's not like the movies. Spies aren't the police. I believe in working with the lesser evils like DeadSec to protect society from the greater ones. So why did Zero Day kill all my friends? There are differing schools of thought. So it's this thing over here. We need to s ah, we need we've got a puzzle here though. We got to set this this puzzle up. This guy can be unlocked. That's going to rotate it there. We're going to be able to unlock our next thing, which is going to bring it up here. Be able to unlock this guy, which is gonna bring it up here. Dude, I love, I love these, these hacking challenges. These little hacking puzzles. So we've got all that. Now we're gonna be able to unlock this. And now when we turn this, it's gonna, it's gonna activate this thing. So we just gotta, we gotta go like this. We gotta get this guy. Gotta get that guy. Gotta get that guy. Gotta unlock that. To get up there to unlock that. And now we have access to the supercomputer. We got the data. Good job, little spider drone. I'm Not too shabby. Guys. Get my ass out of here now. Nice one. And now it's going to be time to escape the area. So we definitely have to worry about the drone. I'm going to go ahead and disable him again. He might already be disabled. Take out the drone, hop back on this thing. Then we could just kind of 
gotta fly out of here. So there you guys have it. Little 20 minute preview of Watch Dogs Legion. Man, I'm excited for this. Like I was excited for this game well before I got the chance to play it. But after playing it and just seeing how big the world is and how connected it all is and being able to, to recruit people and use different abilities and tackle different problems and objectives from completely different ways, I just, I, I think it's gonna be really, really cool. So I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to release. I'm looking forward to bringing you guys a full Let's Play on the channel. So big thank you to Ubisoft for everything. Seriously, I, I really appreciate being invited to this event and being able to share this gameplay with my viewers. It means a lot to me. I'm sure you guys really enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to drop a like. Let them know that if there's future opportunities, we here at T Martin 2 would love to be a part of it. And uh, I actually have another video that I believe I can upload. So if you guys want to see more gameplay, the second one that I can upload is, is going to be a little bit more gunplay. We're using the spy. We're using her silenced pistol. And uh, then we even go through like the recruitment process. We actually recruit a soldier and then use that soldier against her own employer, which is kind of interesting. So if you you guys want to see that drop a like on the video let me know down in the comments and uh i'm gonna see you guys later peace out